Hello again. So recently I've been thinking about the ways my husband and I influence each other, especially through our interests. And coming from a family where my mother's a twin, I've always been kind of motivated and influenced to match with my loved ones, especially my sisters and now with my husband. We have collected a few t-shirts that are the same, sometimes by accident, sometimes on purpose. We have even done things like the Mad Potter, I think that's what this, one, this place is called, where you go and paint pottery. We have gone twice. He painted the mug first, and then I painted a bowl. And then our second visit, I painted this mug, and he painted a bowl. And I still like how we were still kind of influenced by each other. They're different, but also similar in a way too, which I think is a lot of fun. I like doing projects with him. He just... I have always enjoyed spending time with him, and this past year, we got to spend a lot of time with each other. And it was also our first year of marriage. Definitely unique. Um, but I enjoyed every minute of it. But as I mentioned, I think it's really interesting how we influence each other, even in the things that we buy. He was actually the first one who purchased the Passport Traveler's Notebook, and as soon as I saw his, I ended up wanting one. We do both use them as a wallet, and so it's just fun to see how they differ, but also are similar, and I've course buy all the accessories and stuff because I want him to match with me. This might sound silly, but I just, it made me feel happy when he took an interest in my interests and he uses it. And then with pens too, I, this one's not currently inked for me, but he did purchase me this Lamy pen in the teal color and I ended up buying him one to match me. And so that's the pen that he uses pretty much, you know, daily. And even though mine's not currently inked, I still really love this pen. And when it comes to tech, I am definitely influenced by his purchases. I did want a tablet after seeing how he was using his, but I also wanted to use mine for art. And then last year he ended up purchasing me a smartwatch for Christmas, and this year I purchased him one because his previous watch that he had had for years ended up breaking and so he he wanted to try this out and he of course asked me how I was liking mine and I do like mine a lot. But then of course we have a lot of tchotchkes. I love tchotchkes. These are our favorite Pokemon, we each have, you know, a starter one that we like, and then also a Eevee evolution that we like. I love Leafeon and Bulbasaur. Not, I'm not a very good Pokemon trainer. I have only ever played like half of Black and a little bit of Sun. Matt is definitely a better Pokemon trainer than me. He was definitely more dedicated to the games than I ever was. And then his mom bought us these cute Rogue and Gambit minifigs because he and I dressed up as Gambit and Rogue for a convention, and again, it just made me so happy that he was willing to dress up because it just made me, it just t totally made my day, first of all. Rogue and Gambit are definitely my favorite Marvel couple, um, so it has always been a little dream of mine to casual cosplay, sort of, as Rogue. And then one date, Matt and I also went to the Lego store, and we made you know, mini fig versions of ourselves, at least as best as we could. Uh, once I had found a face with glasses, <laughs> I just had to do it. It was a lot of fun. But the tchotchkes don't stop at like my interests. They also include his, which is Magic the Gathering. Once he introduced Nissa to me, I just definitely had to have like things, tchotchkes and things that pertained to her character. I think this is something that makes, you know, our relationship work really well is that we do share a lot of the same interests. We are definitely both very nerdy. I just love that even though we may use the same item in a different for a different purpose it's always nice like i purchased this ikea cart for all of my stationary stuff i loved the idea of having it because it had multiple levels so i could store things and organize it and then i ended up getting him one so he could organize and store his magic cards and it's like it's, it's always a nice feeling when he like express interest in something first like i don't want to lose the chance of buying him something and I mean, I just, I love being able to match with him in, in whatever it is. Um, and these images on the wall here are is something that I purchased for him for Christmas one year. I think it was our first Christmas together. He's not very materialistic. Um, I, I just, I, I sometimes have a hard time shopping for him. His favorite artist is Rebecca Gay and she designed these for magic. These are land cards and one is green and one is blue because Whenever I play Magic with him, I usually have a green deck, and he usually always has a blue, like blue color cards in his decks. It just varies, but it's just another way that I can match with him or have some sort of like representation of each other 
in our home decor, <laughs> but yet it has something to do with something that really interests him, which is magic. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.